now I'm talking to John Burton, the Tonish. So John, how's it going? John, you must be uh, delighted about the, uh, the yes vote yesterday in the referendum. I'm delighted and we're here in Farmley uh, for Africa Day. Huge number of stands and a great atmosphere. Not, not unlike yesterday. I think, uh, you know, people in Ireland now, um, there's an awful lot to celebrate about the country and uh, all of the people who are there, here, all the different stands, there's thousands of people here today like there were yesterday and a lot of people coming up and talking to me and saying how happy they are about yesterday's result. Yeah, and uh, is this, you've been coming to Africa Day for a few years, have you? Or is your first I have, uh, and uh, before I was a politician, I worked in Africa and Tanzania for a number of years. So I'm very, uh, I, there's different parts of Africa that I would have been in a couple of times. You were the Minister of State for International Development, weren't you? I was, yes, yeah. How did you find that? Did you like it? Oh, yes, because I had previously worked and lived in Africa and worked as well with the anti-apartheid movement. So it's great to see um, a lot of economic and social development happening in Africa. Ireland contributes a lot in development assistance to Africa. We've always done it and we work with some of the countries which are very poor, but a lot of them are getting, uh, they're developing now and and uh, a lot of the partnerships now are around business. Okay, thanks, hey, John. Thanks very much. I can't start to cause them to check us. I'm going to do a guess until we cap until we lost shot on the horn. Hey, Michel or Gainer, I'm going to show a game of feet on the high on uh, European Year of Development, August Ta NYCI again of Comortus Ashta, August Tashi the Geary, Dini, uh Kerr and all this fine on Comortus. So Tommy again if I'm featured on Fine Show, so I guess talk on Fish on the one day and to go Tana Fame of course. Oh talk on Fish on the one day. No fame being your pocket in the form of it. Um yeah, like like Tom again of like uh Skananiox and old school. So um like Rin and a uh Fish on Fine on European Year of Development nor Vichy the Gain of on Shola. August Ashley Show or on YouTube to like Dokus Dolly. Um Ark Deganov in this again of Lawn feature on August. Tom already a lift uh, come off, so yeah. On Hot Dean and Law Lot. Oh touch a gahin tuck down, I'm sure Gahin tuck to Lawn Dini on to Lawn Dini O Tirha Egg Sul to Dini to like Dice a touch each other. I was Nice Far and I'm Rod uh uh Honig me and Agavino Reeve. Um August yeah, so just saw me ban all salt also on law near in all this final law river show. Okay, no, I can't really work it. Give me that. Hi, uh, my name is Euclid Jimenez Morera. I was volunteer and I had my first formation in Norway. Now in the, I'm in the sister school in England uh, called CICD, based in Null. Now I'm working as a teacher over there. We give formations to volunteers that after go to mostly in Africa and after in India. Uh, I've uh, never heard of the college. You're based in England, are you? Uh, yes, uh, there is just one based in England, one in uh, Norway, one in Germany, and lots of them in uh, Denmark. And, uh, it's called CICD England. What's that stand for? Uh, it's a college for international cooperation and development. It's mostly teachers training schools for uh, the third world. And are, are you connected to the Cambridge Development Center and place college in Ireland? Uh, no, we just uh, uh, give formations to volunteers in Europe to work in the third world. Uh, we are connected uh, in Africa with Umana people to people. But we are not Umana, we have partnership. And you're trying to get people from Ireland as well now, yeah? Yes, I'm working now with a teacher from Sweden. She was long time in uh, Angola and she had students from Ireland. And she said that they had very good connection with people over there and they have made nice work. So a long time we don't have Irish people as volunteers, so we came here to try to have some volunteers from Ireland. Okay, and just to finish up, what is the advice you'd give people who are interested from Ireland, who are interested in, in thinking about going abroad, Africa or whatever? What do I have to tell to them? Advice, yeah. Um, but you will go there, you will have fun, we are just uh, want to know what they are most interested because we have lots of, uh, they can go like to farmers club, to education, uh, community development, 
So depending of what you want to work, we try to fix uh, places to people to work over there. That's great. Thanks very much. Right? Uh, thanks to you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Guy uh, Chishiku. Uh, we're based here in Ireland. And so uh, we are Karibu and uh, yeah, we are we are a group of artists and uh, we just uh, doing some of exhibitions and uh, we do some workshop in school and uh, also yeah, we'll be doing a lot of things like you know and uh, some exhibitions uh, like uh, I think so our last exhibition it was in, uh, in uh, Kilkenny's uh, castle and uh, we and I uh, saw so, uh, today it's just like uh, what we want just to show people the way uh, the in Congo they try like the way like they, they destroy some of the forest in Congo so like we'll be talking uh, yeah, relating about the the relating about the communities in Congo okay and uh, yeah it's just like uh, people they are they have a small village and uh, yeah, the village now like uh, they, they can't live in the village because of uh, they, they have a uh, some problem issues and uh, the issues like uh, probably uh, they, they found like uh, they have a petrol in their own village and uh, so like they don't have any more peace so because the uh, people they be fighting there and uh, they need to move to different land so you'll be seeing like uh, this one like uh, and uh, yeah the the trees is cutting you know yeah. and uh, so like uh, you'll be seeing some people so they be walking a long distance they belonging long, they were walking long distance and they like uh, the distance they be, they be walking is like uh, somebody is, is walking from uh, Ireland to Spain yeah. just to look for better life uh, how the people they be going to the cities so we've been see most of the time this happen like uh, they never stop and the people they be talking many times like in the radios people they be talking there is a lot of people they talking but this happened, I don't know what is going on, like, you know, and uh, with the, some of the leaders, they are involved to these things, like, uh, we need to stop these things, because, uh, yeah, you will see, like, uh, I don't do politics, but, uh, you do see these things uh, about the, the Libyans, what people, people they be crossing to the boat. Now, in your, you know, the unions, they have a big problem now, they be thinking, but uh, the problem is that they need to stop to make troubles, to tell people, those the leaders, to stop to make prob problem to the those village, because they be people they be moving, and they, uh, we want people to move, but not in the bad way, like you know, because it's too much, and they, because they found petrol to that village, they found Colton in that village, and the people they be moving, like it, that's not good. The awareness we we giving just today is just like uh, for those guys, they don't have a. Uh, people they can talk to behalf of them we are just here and uh, to talking behalf of those people and uh, yeah we're based here in Ireland so yeah. and I uh, so you're like, yeah. doing great work and, and the, the paintings I say are amazing I have to say they're yeah. brilliant I was talking to your friend last year at Africa Day so I'm, I'm connected with you on Facebook so I'll be talking to you again now right yeah yeah, yeah. Is there what do you say is there anything else you want to say uh, if you have us anything to say, did you have anything more to say? I uh, something I want to just say like here, and for anybody like you want to support us, like uh, you can contact us on the Facebook Caribou. If they go to Facebook and Caribou, they can contact us, and uh, so and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, next time if we have an exhibition, the people they can come and that uh, too, you'll be very good. And uh, the, the funny thing is, like, uh, I myself, I can tell you some example here in Ireland. When I came here in Ireland, it was boom, okay? And I uh, hear yeah, something funny here, like we found also here. And the moment now, Karibu will be working to some sit issue here, also in Ireland here. And uh, yeah, it was boom, and uh, suddenly we see like uh, the economy is going down. And uh, after that, the people they're starting to talk about the homeless. Karibu is helping a lot of people, and uh, for the homeless, I think uh, for last Christmas, we did a very great job and they're uh, helping people and they're uh, buying some stuff for guys like you know and uh, for these small things we some of exhibition we did it and uh, buying some stuff for people and uh, yeah, to, to bring to them homeless and that is very good and i uh, saw so, like uh, sometime like uh, when we do the exhibitions if uh, somebody is, he can uh, come here to support us and uh, part of our money is going to the homeless 
we give some of people so also of the owners. I want to mention that we have been awarded yesterday as the best uh, artist group. I have a award here yeah. from. Uh, we have been awarded. So after one year of uh, great job we did, so we hope uh, for the future it will be very interesting. And the award is the Africa Day Award 2015. Yeah, African Day Award for the Cali Caribou has the best Congolese artist group in Ireland. So. So it's very great because we have, we have been doing a lot of things. I think uh, we have a lovely feature. Well that's, that's a thank you. Well done, thank you. Gregory Kalala, thank you. Then. Thank you very much. And now I'm talking to Johnny Sheen from Dolkus. Johnny, how's it going? Johnny, could you tell us, you're working with Dolkus uh, specifically, I think, on the European Year for Development, aren't you? Could you tell us about it, please? Yeah, so uh, thank them. The European Year for Development is a year in which we want to change the way people in Ireland think about, talk about and act on global issues. European Year is being rolled out across all 28 member states of the European Union. And in Ireland, we think that there's so many positive things, stories out there about the contribution being made by, you know, yes, development agencies, but also by the wider public, that every single person can make a difference in tackling poverty and equality and in promoting a fairer, safer, better world. So we're encouraging people to take action through volunteering. So volunteering here in Ireland or volunteering overseas uh, through what they put into their shopping basket. The choices we make as consumers, whether we buy fair trade or things that are produced ethically, but also in terms of the clothes. The clothes that we uh, wear are made in countries around the world. And we ask people to ask, well, who made my clothes? You know, and to find out more about those issues and to tell other people and to spread the word about, you know, that actually our lives are connected to the lives of people in other parts of the world. And that's really what we're trying to do this year. We're really trying to change the way people think about these issues and talk about them so that, so that people will change the way they act on these issues. And that will have the biggest contribution, we believe, to really making a, a fundamental difference to the lives of people, whether they're in com local communities here in Ireland, local communities in the Democratic Republic of Congo, or in Cambodia, or wherever they are in the world, that actually encouraging people to take responsibility, to take action, and that each of us can make a difference. Okay, Joey, thanks very much. Introduce yourself to our listeners first, please. Hi, my name is Ross McCarthy. Um, I'm uh, set up an initiative um, called the World's Best News um, and it's now based with DOCUS, the Association of Irish Charities. Well, so you, you're the, like, I know the World's Best News news service is in a few countries. Are you the person who came up with the idea in the first place? No, uh, there's a founder in Denmark, um, so myself and uh, another colleague, Sean O'Connell, um, contacted the founder and we got him over to Ireland to, to speak to people because we really thought it was a good idea to spread good news about the developing world instead of just negative news which you get from usual media outlets um, and he came over and, and Irish people were really impressed by him and by the idea so we, we set up the initiative in Ireland we set up the first English speaking uh, World's Best News so the World's Best News is a news service that's on I interviewed hands on about this a couple of years ago it's a new service online. Just tell us what exactly it is, please. Yeah, so essentially you only hear the negative news from the developing world, you know, war, famine, and no one hears the incredible posi positives, you know, such as, say, in Rwanda, 63% of their government are made up of, of women. You, you know, people don't know that. They don't know that extreme poverty has halved in the last 20 years. So this, these kind of good news stories aren't headline news and they don't get out there. So we're trying to get these good news stories out to the general public and show them that you know, things are improving, aid is helping, improved trade um, agreements are helping. And you know, it, it's not just all terrible basically and things are getting better. So it makes you know, people feel good in Ireland and, and shows that there's you know, positive things happening in the rest of the world. And it, this last question, if people want to find out more about the world's best news, like, whereabouts are you online? Like, 
So uh, we're on Facebook at the World's Best News, and we're also on Instagram at uh, World's Best News, and hashtag World's Best News on Twitter as well. You can find things. And er every year we have a, a day of action where we go out into the streets uh, of Dublin and Cork and hand out newspapers with this good news, and then otherwise it's, it's online throughout the year on Facebook and other social media. You're on Tumblr as well, aren't you? Yes, on Tumblr as well, yeah. On uh, Flipboard, is it? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Alright, that's great. Thanks very much, Ross. Right? Okay, thank you. Thanks very much.